All right, let's swing into action. So here's what Revenue Mobilization and Fiscal Commission say. They say the Esther Code of the Speaker of the House of Representatives, in their own words, $1,200 per night. Now, if we go by the official exchange rate, that is 366000 naira. Here's what it means. What the Speaker of the House of Representatives will get as his Esther Code per night is much more than his salary yeah. per month. His basic salary. His basic salary per month. They also say the Esther Code per day for a senator, $950. For a floor member at the House of Reps, $900. But this doesn't stop at Kaduna versus Bachi. This goes even beyond the executive versus the legislators. What it is, is there's so much money that goes out as well to gratuities. So we can't have this equitable discussion by not talking about what goes on as gratuities, even at the executive level. Ramfak says the gratuity, what we'll call in simple terms, thanks for coming, of the president. Thanks for coming for the president after four years. 10.5 million naira for the vice president, 9 million naira for the governor, 6.6 .6 million naira, and on and on. They say the thanks for coming for the National Assembly after four years as gratuity. The Senate president, 7.4 million naira. The speaker, 7.4 million naira. Floor members, 6 million naira as their reward after leaving office. And in the final analysis, if we look at what all these gratuities from the executive and the National Assembly comes to, it's an excess of 3.5 billion naira as thanks for coming after leaving office. What is 3.5 billion naira? 3.5 billion naira, going by the 2016 budget, we will build and renovate 12 girls' hostels plus. It will build another 12 primary health care centers. Plus, it will build 100 classrooms for young boys and girls. That's what 3.5 billion naira can do. Especially in the Northeast. Especially in the Northeast. And Chamberlain, in the final analysis, this is a call. A call that the National Assembly could take the lead. Nigerians want them to do something special. Now, Nigerians aren't interested about those that want to give up their gratuities. Nigerians are interested about those that do not want to give up their gratuities. And so the House should take a vote. And they should take a vote and ask, who among us doesn't want to give up his or her gratuity? And I, take, I think they should take that challenge. And if they do, they, do, they do take that challenge, here's what they will hear. Who among us does not want to take up or wants to continue collecting gratuities, I think the House will be silent. And then the executive should follow. Because there's so much money they can save from taking that decision. And they also know what positive it will create for them in 2019 by being the first assembly to have come out openly to declare that their members wouldn't take their gratuity. And then the executive also needs to play a role.